have a gut feeling to accept a lower offer on my property because something about the buyer is tugging my heartstrings. So I thought this would be a pretty interesting uh, story to kind of cover from r slash personal finance on Reddit. My wife and I have multiple offers on this piece of property that we are selling. One of the offers is lower than the current highest offer by $5,000. I learned that it is from a single mom who has been looking for a place for months and keeps getting beat out. I know that I need to have a logical level head here, but my heartstrings are being tugged because I know what it is like to have a single mom trying to find a place because I went through that when I was young. I lean towards accepting the lower offer. Is it okay to be sentimental and emotional about decisions like this, or is straight numbers the way to go? Update. Thank you all for the kind words. Never did I imagine that I'd be in a position like this before. I think back to growing up when I was moving from house to house with my mom before we found a place, and I never knew or understood how hard it must have been for her. Okay, before we continue into the story, right? I'll answer this if I was in this person's position, right? And anyone who ends up listening to this or stumbling upon this, f feel free to give your thoughts as well or submit your own stories at 40 com. So the way to really look at this is that does this $5,000 amount affect you personally, financially, at all? So what I mean by this is that if you don't get that $5,000 from the highest offer, are you putting your family at risk? If you are not, if you are financially set up in a way to where $5,000 literally means nothing to you, aka you can go walk into your front driveway and light it on fire, $5,000, and it literally has no impact on your life at all, then I would say if your heart feels like this is the right path, then go ahead and do that. And the reason why I say that is because money is simply a tool, right? You should never have like a love of money. You should never have basically an obsession with money, right? But you should always work hard so that you can be in a position of strength, a position of safety to be able to be very generous when you want to be generous to other people, right? Like the reason why you want to be like debt free, have an emergency fund, have money in investments is so that if a situation like this comes around, right? If some sort of opportunity comes around like this to where to have like basically a situation where it won't have much impact on yourself personally to much degree, but you can literally change the course of another person's life to pretty much like no risk to yourself. That's an amazing situation, right? To be in that place, if you are financially safe, financially secure, to where you could basically donate practically $5,000 in favor for this lower offer, to basically make this single mom's life, right? Basically make her day, make her happy, cry with joy, all that kind of stuff, right? Now let's continue. I know that there is a chance that maybe my heartstrings are being manipulated. That is very true. This is also another thing that you got to be wary of as well. In the grand scheme of things, I'd rather be guilty of the sin of giving when I shouldn't have than of the sin of not giving when I should have. You know, that's actually a pretty good way to put it. Like, would you rather be... Are you going to be more okay with being taken advantage of because you were generous or that you basically screwed over someone 
who was needing help. You know, that's a pretty good way to put it. Update. My wife and I decided to accept her offer. In the end, if we can make a difference to someone, then the difference is an amount we'd gladly pay. Maybe God sent the offer to us because we are the one to be able to bless her life. However, we want to look at it. I think she will be better off for it. So they ended up taking it based off their heartstrings. So hopefully it ended up... Hopefully it ended up uh, working out for her. Them, right? Update, people are really concerned that I'm being manipulated, wondering how I know that this lady is a single mom or how much I can trust my realtor, etc., etc. Basically what happened was that we received a few offers on our place. While going over the offers, I asked my realtor, whom I know very well and trust highly, if they knew who the offers were from. They then told a brief description of the people one being a single mom with two kids and the other being a young couple just starting out trying to find their first place. That is literally all the realtor told me. I didn't read an offer letter. I didn't get many more details than that, but the thought of this single mom just got stuck in my head and I couldn't get it out. Some people may call it being manipulated or foolish or hoping that they aren't going to make the closing process miserable for me. I hope all that too. But growing up, moving from house to house with my own single mom, I can't imagine how that felt for her, but my heart is full with this chance, this slim chance, that maybe I can make a single mom's life a little easier. To be able to maybe spend more time with her kids, to have a better hand dealt to her for once, maybe, just maybe, I can do that for her, and the money I'm leaving on the table is worth that to me. Update, interpret, the, interpret, interpret, basically in, infer, right? I can't even pronounce this, which is horrible, right? When our realtor told them that we accepted her offer, the other realtor communicated that the single mom broke down and cried. So, you know, that was a pretty interesting situation, right? So take it as you will. Feel free to give your own thoughts if you stumble upon this. Do you think that they were foolish? I don't think that they were manipulated because they didn't really get much information, right? And the thing is, you know, this single mom could probably be in a situation where, like, she was actually doing very well, right? Now that final update, you know, perhaps that is the case. Perhaps the single mom did break down and cried, Right? That is a very real possibility. And if that is the case, this person probably feels absolutely amazing going the more generous route and basically gifting, well, not really gifting, but basically opening up this opportunity for this single mom. Right? But again, everyone's personal finance situation is different. Right? So, for example, If you were in a situation where you needed basically every single dollar possible for your family to pay off your family's debt, then you would be doing your own family a disservice by accepting this lower offer, right? But if you are in a good financial situation to where $5,000 doesn't matter to you, doesn't have any impact on your life, then doing something like this, whether it is justified or not, whether it is correct or not, whether it is the truth or not, will end up making you probably feel a little bit better about yourself long term, right? Now, this isn't the same equivalent, but just doing like some generous things is good for you. Not just good for the person that you're doing it for, but it's also good for you because it will in turn make you feel amazing being like, oh, I can literally change the trajectory trajectory of a person's life by simply being kind. So that's something to really think about as well. So if you have your own personal finance story or question, go to 4 dmboxcom and submit your own personal finance story or question. And if you want to learn how to get out of debt and master your money, go to 4 dmboxcom